Good morning, good morning. This is Lori from the Pink Early Channel, and it is a nice sunny day here in South Jersey, a little crisp, but it looks like we're off to a good start. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Dawn. Good morning, Gail. I don't know if Gail's still here. Gail's going to get some primping done today, so she'll be away from us for a little bit. Enjoy your morning, Gail. Dawn, it's nice to see you. I thought this morning to warm up a little bit, I would go through and start gluing some napkins down in my napkin journal, which I really haven't paid much attention to. And I'll wait till a few folks get in because I want to make a button bracelet this morning. Hi, Leah. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. And um, sometimes when I, by the time I get into someone's live, I usually miss the beginning. So I kind of like to do something where you're not going to miss the bulk of what I have to share for any given session. So I'm just going to open up my book. I don't have a whole lot done in here, I don't think. This is a book um, I got at Five Below a couple of years ago. And I like the size. And so I decided to use it for my napkin journal. And as I work through here, I'm hoping this is gonna, as I work through here, I know I have napkins that need to be glued down. I'm going, I'm going to try and use my glue stick because then I'm thinking I can glue and move on. Good morning, Rain Girl. I'm, I'm going to say Cindy. <laughs> now this is going to probably take a lot of glue stick. I have two here. And of course, this is purple. But it will dry clear. And in most cases... Of course, because I'm gluing down before I actually am going to work in my book. I don't really know where I want to put it. Hey, good morning, Pam. So, I think half of the, half of the uh, issue for me is just getting it down. And I'll worry about working on it later. Even if it's not totally down. Um, real well like in here I can address that when I go to work on the page now when I first started to watch Dee Dee Willingham um, I think one of the first things I saw Dee Dee do was work in a napkin journal uh, this is a page that I had you know I don't date my stuff which I'm trying to get better at it and <clears throat> When I, I don't even know when I first started this, but you can see it's pretty, pretty loud. This one's pretty loud. But this was a page that I colored. I guess I copied the page and colored this little gal from. This is one of the um, Coleridge Wild little gals. See, this one I've got all set up. Haven't done anything. And then I just noticed, see, Kimberly Ray sent me. Um, some napkins and I shared some of them some of them are still sitting on the counter waiting to go I have to get over to the post office for my international I think I took all the second layer off of these for my internationals and uh, hmm if I tear that there. Hey, Marty, good morning. And um, I just pulled a couple of them out. And I thought, well, let me get some of these glued down. And I, I forgot I had some already sitting in the book waiting to be glued down. Oh, I should have trimmed that off before. All right, well, let's see. So how is everyone this morning? Ooh, the bus is early. You guys are popping in quick. Quick. 
see before before I saw Ann Laura use a glue stick, I would um, use matte medium to put down my napkins. And that's fine, and that works well. Of course, it's a lot more expensive than um, glue stick. But the other thing is, is you have to wait for it to dry, put your heat gun on it, which is not really the best plan when you're doing a live and people have to wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to put these little bits here. She just came from Murray's. All right. I was lurking at Murray's trying to get uh, get ready. I was pretty much ready, but trying, I was chatting with my mom for a little bit. And um, I, I'm, I don't know, I left my mom instructions and hey, Devin, good morning. And uh, she was hoping to tune in. So I don't know if my nephew can help her with that. She doesn't know how to get to Facebook on her own, I don't think. Pam just got home from taking the kids. How are the roads, Pam? Because you had a good deal of snow, didn't you? All right, so if I put this here. When I just have that little edge. Hmm. Well, I'm excited because today, maybe I'll put that straight edge into the corner, into the into the crevice. <clears throat> the other day when I was, well, was it last week? It was Thursday. I know it was a Thursday, so it could have been last Thursday. At least in my eclectic life, I had Diane Fago on as a guest. And those girls were doing a collage from uh, images they harvested from magazines. And um, they were working in a book called Nomad by uh, the book. I guess the photos were taken and the book is by Sibylla Court. And... Um, you know, had to have it. <laughs> had to have it. So, <clears throat> oh, Devin, that's sweet. Thank you. Who am I missing? Anyone? And uh, it's supposed to come today. Originally, it said um, on the 9th, February 9th. But I was checking. Is Kimberly here? There's Kimberly 557. Yes, Kimberly Ray, really, really outdid herself. Look, I forgot about that being, um, well, you know what? This is one that Kimberly sent. And I might just put the edge of this. <clears throat> I like these little birdhouses. They're cool, but I don't want to. Okay, let's do it this way. I'll try to grab a little bit of the center without um, damaging the birdhouse. So the book is supposed to come today. Ron does not like when packages come. Just saying. So... He might get a little grumpy. I don't know. He's not usually grumpy. But I might hear, you got another package. <laughs> but it was very reasonably priced. And I think it's an older book. So I don't know how much longer, you know, they're going to be available. And you know the old adage. If you don't buy, if you don't get it when you see it, you're never gonna, see, never gonna see it again. Now look how cute that looks. 
Let me move this over so you can see. Where do you see this? Where do, uh oh, I got rid of my picture. Can you see how cute that looks attached with this little bit from this other napkin? Now I'm thinking, I wonder how it would look. I need just a little bit more from that corner where I put glue. Yeah, well, I'm not that bright. And I'm always anxious to get it. And it used to be easier, you know, because he would go out to work. But now he works from home. All right, has anybody tried to use glue stick and glue napkin on top of napkin? The book was pricey in Canada, so Devin didn't get it. That will be her only wine today. You know what, Devin? You can have as many wines as you want, girlfriend. We don't care. We understand the wine. I'm thinking I might need one of these little birdhouses on here. Mm -hmm. But I haven't tried glue stick on glue stick. Glue stick on top of a napkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these sit in here so that when I come back to this page, and this isn't really dry yet, so it's probably not wise to rub um, glue stick on top of that. But I think that will look like, a, that will make a darling spread, won't it? <laughs> I'm tired of being the whiny canook. All right, so some of these you can see my inexperience when I started to glue some down. That one, I, these I painted around. Sometimes you just feel like gluing stuff down, and it may not be, or you may not have a glue book or whatever. Hey, there's Tina. Hi, Tina. Good morning. Good morning. This is one of the um, Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. Julia Crane. All right, and so let's see. I don't want to get hung up here. Oh, look how cute this is. Look, tear this once and glue all over. Tear this. Oh, tear this one and glue it all over. See, I'm giving myself instructions. Here's more. Got some peacocks. Look at these guys. They're Christmas. Look, so I haven't done anything with that, but she gave me a couple. See, I've got, <laughs> I've got stuff buried in here to be doing, to be doing it. <clears throat> I don't know how the uh, camera is going to like this. Okay, Marty's got the card. She's serving light snacks. I do have more than one of these. I don't know why I didn't keep more out. But I kind of like this just for a background, huh? So let's um, let's tear off some of this. My screen seems dark this morning. I don't know. Hey, Cal. It, it might just be that um, it's the angle I have my laptop. Now, that didn't make sense, Lori. I just, I just twirled it. I'm trying to avoid gluing it right down into the um, center of the book because I don't want to create any additional thickness. So far, I'm doing pretty good with not having it uh, warp. So I'm trying to be aware of that. And see, what I'll do is I'll come back and trim off these pages once this dries. All right. So once I get this one down, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do one more because I've got those cute little bunnies sitting there. So if I do that one. And I'm going to hold on to the rest of those birdhouses just in case I decide I want more for that other page. 
And then we'll get on to making a button bracelet. So a little while back, you know, I I just love buttons. So I've been buying buttons for quite some time. And they mostly just sit in the drawer or in a jar. So what's with the live chat, top chat button change? I have no idea, Marty. No idea at all. Last night when we were in, um, who was it? It was Stephanie's, I guess, Stephanie's channel. It's the first time I noticed that something was different, but I, to tell you the truth, I don't even know what the heck the difference was. I never understood why they have live chat, top chat, why, why you have more than one choice. I don't know. But maybe somebody in chat knows. So I started to fuss around with my buttons and then I got out my jewelry stuff and um, gosh, I don't even know where I have those. I made some buttons with with um, like wire and some jewelry findings, you know, where you're twisting the wire and stuff. I'm not really good at that. And I haven't had enough practice, I'm thinking, but there again, everything's got... A learning curve right okay I'm gonna hold off on that bit I have more of this Kimberly was so gen generous I have more of this I'm gonna wait and I just need to find a page for the little buns the little bunners this was one of the more recent uh, pages I did where do you see these bunnies some of you that watch the other live will recognize it look how sweet these are huh can you see them um okay devin's saying i think for streams that have a lot of people in chat like over 500 it slows your chat to make it easier to read if it excludes some of the messages and that's Devin's opinion, but that that sounds like it's um, probably that's very reasonable reason. All right, so I'm going to take off the pink corners, hopefully, and I could cut this, but I'm wanting a rougher edge. I know, aren't the bunnies to die for? So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a corner there, and I might put the corner up in the other right hand. And so when I was working with my buttons and the jewelry findings and whatnot, I thought, ah, but you know what, there's got to be other options to making a button bracelet and I'm pretty sure most of the buttons I have are not really worth a whole lot but some of them are vintage and some of them are cool oh no Cindy I hate my new temp job fast-paced data entry and I know nothing about banking I'm 62 please cut my brain is ready to work um, Cindy, I worked temp for quite a few years, and um, of course, it's it's been a long time ago, so things probably have changed. Um, but you should be able to tell them, you know, what kind of positions you'd like to take. And like, I got one position where I had to call the company was in bankrupt, and I had to call and tell people that they had to pay their money or I, I, you know, I'm like, I was sick to my stomach. They took me right out. I called my, my um, rep and they took me right out and placed me somewhere else. So could that be an option for you to call them and say, Hey, look, 
this is this isn't a fit for me. I mean, they should be placing you, um, you know, potentially if you're looking to go temp to perm, you know, in a, in a position that's going to work for you. I know that's not fun. I know exactly. I know exactly what you're going through. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Okay. So I'm going to put these here. So anyway, I was I started to surf, of course, on the internet, YouTube, and I found a video where the gal was making a bracelet with buttons that was more to my liking. And so I made several, of course. Lori never just makes one. Of course, I can't find the one that I wear. I thought I put it out here, but it must be in my room. And uh, so I have a few button bracelets to show you. And no, Cindy, you're too young. Too young. He's not going to take you till it's time. Lori, they don't have anything that pays well. Oh, oh honey, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, the Lord needs to, oh, it's hard to be patient and to wait to see how the Lord's going to work that out. We'll just keep praying, Cindy. All right, so I'm going to pop these little bunnies around. Well, I'm just going to do it. Just going to do it. My son is um, 35. He is more ADD now than ADHD. He was ADHD when he was a youngin. And um, people have a hard time tolerating him. He talks. A lot. He's very bright, but he talks a lot about wears on people, and um, he's had a hard time with employment because of, that's one reason. And when he sold cell phones, he did very well with cell phones, and he sold cars for a while too. Um, But it wasn't a good fit and then his anxiety kicks in and people don't like him and when he does well and I mean his dad went to see him at the uh, where he was selling phones and Brian was giving him a tour of the store and took him into the back room and up above the the shelving all across the top ceiling part like where the ceiling you know several feet down from the ceiling were all these awards that were hanging up in the shop well they were all our sons he had never even told us he had won all these awards for selling but nobody liked nobody liked them so they were always trying to get rid of them so in more recent years the anxiety has really kicked in and he's had a hard time staying employed um, because he gets to the point where he gets to the job but he's so nervous, uh, he can't get out of the car to um, to get into the building. Okay. So, good morning, Kathy. He just keeps plugging away. Well, he went to a temp agency, and we're just praising the Lord. At least so far. He has found employment. It's, you know, it's a temp job. We don't know where it will lead. Uh, but he did, with one of these jobs, he did get experience in shipping. So he's in the shipping. To, he's the shipping guy. And this man, he's like, work your hours. I don't care when you get here. You know, it's, it's part time. But he said, you work your hours. 
and uh, if you need to take an Amazon shift, you can leave early and go do your Amazon shift. The guy's very laid back. This has been such a blessing for my son because he, if he gets stuck in traffic, he doesn't have to hyperventilate or worry about getting written up because he's three minutes late. You know, it just has taken so much pressure off of him. God bless this man that he's working for. But so far, it's like a really good fit. Okay, Kathy. So I truly believe, I truly, truly believe, Cindy, you're, you're going to get an answer. Just going to pray harder. Going to pray harder. I know. It's just, it's been a blessing. And um, the last guy they had in the position, he only wanted to do shipping. And uh, the boss said to Brian, you know, how do you feel about doing other stuff when I need? He said, I'll do whatever you need me to do. So he's been wrapping pallets and, you know, so, so far, we'll see. We're praising the Lord that, that uh, this has been a good fit for him. So I just hope that is an encouragement in a way for you, Cindy. I know. There you go. Exactly right, Marty. I mean, he's got one young gal that works for him who's got never heard of this. She's got a frozen intestine. And she has to be. Um, she has to be at home most of the time because she has to have, you know, her nourishment given to her, I guess. Um, intravenously or whatever. She's got a lot of. But. She's able to stay employed because this man is just such a wonderful boss. All right. So I'm going to put the rest of my little houses in the cover here so I can come back and I'll trim these pages. And I guess I should really plan. Oh, look, look, I just happened to turn. Wouldn't those bird houses look cute on this page too? Oh, yeah. Let's put them in there. All right, so I hope I haven't missed saying good morning to anyone. If I have, it's certainly not intentional. Welcome, welcome. And now we're going to move on to making a bracelet. Now, I haven't done this in a while. But the name of the channel, if I'm going to place to put mine, that I, I saw this done is called um, Let's... Let's make Academy or something like that. I did put it in. Um, I did put it in my description box. And I think. Um, I think YouTube. You know, will also display that. So this is one you can see that, of course, is got a turquoise type theme. Now some of these I made for the market and you can see they didn't sell. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so this one's a little smaller. This one wouldn't fit me. So you can make them according to the size you might need for um, your wrist. This one of course is a pink theme. This one I did neutral. I did two neutral. I wear a neutral one. This one's bigger. So this is what we're going to make today. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope. See, there we go. And she's off. And she's off. Okay. So. This is only a little bit of my button box, but this is what I had when I was working on these. This is what I worked from. I would sit in my comfy chair. So let's see. I don't know that I have enough to do a theme, but I was thinking I might try red. I don't know. I might have to get into some other buttons. Excuse me while I gulpa gulpa. 
So let's just see. And it depends on the layout and um, you know how many you need. So I might have to dig back in here. <clears throat> and I don't know the gal's name. I, I quickly looked this morning and I was unable to find her name. All I could find was the name of her, the channel. And um, she uses what she called a non-roll elastic. Now hers was a little a little different because you could see. Oh, thanks, girls. Um, you could see little ridges going down this way. But when I bought mine online, this is this is how it came, and it doesn't curl. So. So what she did was, and I I don't find I don't know where my loose roll is. So what she does is she just takes the elastic, puts it around her wrist if she's making it for herself, and me, you know measures, overlaps it, and that's where she cuts her elastic, and then she stitches it on her machine. She goes back and forth like four or five times. She mentions that she likes hers looser. You can see this is a little looser on mine. She likes hers to make it more of a bangle. You can use any color. Um, I found some narrower elastic like this, but I don't know where I put it. These two I found in my little tub here that I had already stitched. So I'm going to be working on one of these today. Now, if I remember correctly, she also says in her video, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch this together and you could probably glue it. And then if you can get a needle through hands, but if you hand stitch this several times, I think you would be fine. All right. So you make it to the size that you want, stitch, stitch it up, and then you just get your buttons and you start sewing. So I'm going to use one of these needles. Now you want to use a heavier thread. And I chose to use a thread, you know, that was black. So I, I didn't see it on the underneath side. <clears throat> but you you know, it, it, especially if it's for you, use, use what you have. What's the width? Good question. Uh, she said you can make it any width that you want, but this particular is an inch. This one's an inch. And, you know, whatever elastic you have. Now, this gal also said if you don't have this non-roll elastic, use what you have. And if you use white, you could do, I was thinking about doing a spring bracelet and doing all whites. Um, but I don't know where I put that elastic. I've been digging through boxes, you know, getting organized, trying to get organized for months. And I don't know where I threw the uh, white elastic. Oh, look, I just look, I just happened to look. Look, here's a white one. Shall we do white? I'm trying to see what this says. This says woven. So I guess this is a woven elastic. Let's say we do white. Should we do white? Let's see what you think. You want me to do a white one or do you want me to do the, and this is narrower. So this might be cool. Hey, there's my sister, Jack. Hi, Jackie. Good morning. Let's see what you think. Because I've got plenty of white. I'm trying to see what else I could, I could throw in silver. And see, I can dig out more buttons like this. It might have a little bit of green or something. Pam says white. She's the first one in. Okay, Pam. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure this around my wrist. This is the tricky part if you're by yourself. Hello to all. Came in, had to do my coffee and blood pressure. Okay, Kath. Good girl. Taking care of that stuff that you need to get done. All right. So I'm going to make this a little looser.
So I'm going to cut it about there. And if you want like a, at least a half inch or so to overlap, right? Because you want that to be fairly secure. So I'm going to, I have my machine right behind me. I'm going to go and I'm just going to stitch this back and forth quickly. I'm going to move my coffee out of the way, which is, now I have pink thread on the top and yellow on the bottom, but that is not going to impact this project because I'm going to cover it with buttons. I'm going to be covering it with buttons. So, let's see. All right, here we go. Make sure I got my stitch mark. Okay. And then I just kind of turn it, stitch down like I do a square. I'll show you when I finish. The tricky part is that this is a circle now. Uh, how good my bottom trend doesn't get knotted up on me. Back her up. You just don't want it to pop apart, you know, when you're wearing it and uh, have to do 37 B pick up, I mean, button pick up. That should be good enough. Not really. <clears throat> uh, still really having some problems. If I sew on regular fabric, my machine is fine. Um, but when I sew on something other than that, it kind of gets a little naughty. Not naughty, but naughty. Okay, now let's see. Now let's pick out some buttons. This is the fun part. All right, so I've got some. Okay, so I don't know if you can, you know, it's really kind of messy, but that's all right. See, look at this. On this side, it's really got, really got messy. I'm going to sew buttons right over top of that. Right over top. Oh, I hope I have a thimble. Handy. All right, so let's see. So let's just pull out some. This is mostly white buttons in here. So let's take let's take that little box. I found this little compartment thing. It's not that little, but I found it at uh, Hobby Lobby, and it was marked down. They had two different sizes, and so I grabbed them both because. I like them. Now you might want to find some different shape ones that you have, right? And if you guys are talking to me, please use caps so I can pick pick up what you're saying more readily. See, and I don't care if they're a little scuzzy. I'll, I'll use a baby wipe and clean that off a little bit, but I'm going to go with silver rather than the gold. And I'm just pulling out some stuff, I think will work. Let's put these guys back in here. Oh, I don't know. Look at that one. That's a black. That's kind of cool. I've got a couple of these silvers. There's that green one. I'm just trying to see if I'm missing anything. I 
Look at that cool button. That might be too, uh, that's really thin. That might be too much of a contrast. I'm still hoping to get, I call her Miss Caroline because that's what um, Keisha called her. I have to get a hold of and send her another message. We were hoping to get together in February and talk buttons. Now, of course, you know, we could do this all day long. So after this, it's just a matter of piecing together what you like to um, stitch on. I want to make sure I didn't miss it. Oh, there's Sherry. Sherry's here. Hi, Sherry. Who else did I miss? Kathy Arbor. Oh, hi, Kathy. Oh, Kathy Adkins. Ah! <laughs> hi, Kath. Did you see Jackie's here? Oh, thanks for popping in, Kath. Look at this cute button, huh? But this has got the gold. I think I'm going to stick with the white and the silver. I might have to move this to a different tub. So, as you, as most of you know, when you're working with buttons, and if you've been storing up, oh, look, here's one of those. Where'd he go? This is an Indian head button. No, the glare is not letting you see them. And you want different sizes. Because if they're all, well, I would think you want different sizes. Because it'll make the project go a little quicker for you. And um, you do a lot of small buttons. You're going to use a lot of your buttons, which that may be a good thing. But you're also, it's going to take you a little longer to put it together. Um, because, you know, you've got to fill in. Look at that red one to fill in the space. All right, so let's put those there. Let me find my lid, get this out of the way. And then basically what you're gonna do is just put them on, kind of lay it out and just start stitching. So this is where you kind of get to take a nap. Now I have some buttons put aside that, you know, I want to show Caroline when we get together, but I might have a few others in here that I might want to incorporate. Um, so I love that one. Can you see if I tilt it? I love that one. The other thing you have to... Um, consider like you have to decide what needle you're going to use because see some of these they don't have a very big hole so if you want to use one you want to make sure um, you have a needle because I I like once you get going I like to um, keep going oh that see I just this is oh I can't I have to oh that one I have a couple of oh see this is my problem Oh, look, that one's, I think I have more than one of that. Um, once I touch some of them, like like this, this little guy, I could touch this for three days straight and, and not be bored. <laughs> I just, I can't explain it. It's like slippery and shiny and it's just, it's luscious, luscious. But clearly I have issues. But I'm not going to use any machinery other than a needle today, so it should be good. But you could do, look, I'm pulling out a couple more of these green ones. You could do navy. Look at that green one. This one looks like a little, like a gumdrop. Oh, how I love buttons. Now, I also have a jar of buttons, and I have a whole drawer of buttons. That guy's just kind of kind of plain. Oh, boy, he's really cool. I got two of those. See, I don't, some of these I don't want to use until I talk to Caroline. Yes. Definitely, Devin. Now we'll keep those out. Oh, Santa Claus jumped out. 
Now I've used, oh, I didn't pull out any thread. Hmm, because now I'm going a lighter color. So I don't want, I don't think I want black. Shank buttons, you're not going to see the thread, but of course the ones with the whole thing you're going to see. Now this is a Coates and Clark and it says dual duty. It's very thin, but this seems like it's fairly strong, that white. Uh, but I'm also wondering, see this is, I got this in some vintage purchase, I don't know. And it's really cool, but see, I don't think I can pull that through the elastic. It's heavy. It's heavier. I think you could tat with that. With this thread. See all the label. I can't read that label. Well, maybe if I put a magnifying glass on it. I'll have to show it to Mary. Maybe she would know. All right. So I'm going to try that white thread and see how that works. And then if I find it's not strong enough. I'll switch it out for something else. You don't want it like most of you, I think, know about sewing and slow stitching and all that jazz, right? So you don't want your thread too long because it cannot. Cindy, you think it looks like tatting thread? Yeah, that's what I was thinking it might. I still want to try that. I've got to find my long needles. All right. So let's just see what we got going on here. We're just going to jump in and start. So I want something with a smaller <clears throat> eye because I want to be able to get it through most of my um, buttons. Now this morning as I was planning this and thinking about what I wanted to do what direction I wanted to go. I was thinking, um, oh, I wonder what it would look like with a piece of lace underneath some of the buttons. I don't know how comfortable that would be for wearing it. I used to have a, a uh, I used to have a, a thimble right there. I've got some old ones here, but well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, can I, should I bring the camera down? Can you see me okay? I should adjust the camera anyway without waiting for an answer. <laughs> so, however, is everybody? Everybody's good? All right, <clears throat> where the heck did I put my little elastic band? Did I put it back in the... Oh dear. I think I put it back in the container. I did. Uh oh. Oh no, that's the... Do you guys see it? saying the other night how did I oh Kathy and I were Kathy and I were working on projects together and ah, she said how can I lose scissors that were just right in front of me well now I've lost my elastic band That was right in front of me. I didn't move anything. Right? It's right here. Oh, dear Lord. Can't see for the nose on your face. Look on the floor. That was my next place to look. Hey, there's already dark. 
I see antique buttons, white buttons, black buttons with dots. I love this little dotted one. Now, most of these are not very large, so we'll just see. I'm going to try to stay as... Well, we'll just see how they look as I start putting them on. Did you put it in your bra? Well, this is... This is what I do sometimes. That's a good question. Good, Tina. Glad to hear that. This thread is very thin. So we'll just see. But it says dual thread now. Let's see if the old gal can get it threaded. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. And I'm going to double it. I was just telling Kathy, Calico Kate, last night that uh, I was when I was fairly new to this whole community. I think I I think it was because I had signed up for the Friday evening um, um, Friday evening hops. All right, what does Artie Dar say? Suggestion, cut the cut off a long sleeve shirt for a bracelet and sew stuff on it. Yeah, as long as it would stay, you know, and not, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a clever idea. And Mary had set up, I believe, I think this is what what, what happened, had set up, um, you know, on Messenger, where we could communicate with each other if we had questions for the hop or whatnot. Anyway, I was on this feed, knit a ribbed cuff. Yes, yeah, as long as it would stay. I mean, the buttons are heavy. They'll get heavy. And um, I was working in my room here. I had to go out into the front room. I had my hands full. Didn't have, didn't want to drop my phone. So I slipped my phone in my bra and I'm walking to the front room and I hear something dialing. All right. I'm going to start at the top and go down. I want my knot on the top, not underneath. That's just me. And next thing I know, as I'm looking at my phone, I see Janet Nash's little face. And I see, now I'm going to come back up. Becky. And Lar. I had boob dialed those girls and I barely knew, at that point I barely knew them. They were very gracious. <sighs> Got a little chat in. Okay, I found this bag of. I was very embarrassed. There you have it. But I'm known for putting stuff in the bra. All right, so I want to try to cover that area there because my sewing machine didn't stitch it so well. So this is a nice big button. So I'm just going to start sewing it on. You got to be careful. Watch your fingers. Yeah, cuff off of a sweater. Mm -hmm. And then you just stitch it on any way that you like. You know, if you want more thread showing in your button. And I suggest you watch the video of the gal that uh, is in the description box. From, I forget what she calls it. Let's Make Academy or something like that. You could theme it if you had a granddaughter or a niece. 
you know, find some fun buttons with for my granddaughter, unicorns. You know, you wouldn't have to have all unicorns, but you could have several. So, so that's in that's anchored on there really well. So you don't you don't see any of the yuck. So then I'm going to decide what I want next. And this is where you like I like to overlap them, you know, zhuzh some underneath. So I'm just trying to see that one I want to hold aside. And then if you want to put in any other colors. I try to alternate the sizes. And let's face it, I've only made four. Right, let her pick the buttons. That would be fun. And of course, I like things that are a little more glitzy. And oh, where do I have? Oh, where did I put those? I need something sparkly. Now, like my sister Nancy, she wouldn't like that because she doesn't want no shine. She wants everything. She's a plain Jane. So you could tailor it to whatever, you know, you want. You could even put charms on it, really. I mean, let's get real. You could do charms. I'm just trying to see. I just had, because I found them in my jewelry. I had those clip-on earrings the other day. Oh, stink. What did I do with the... They had those little sparkly, sparkly gems in them, you know? I would love that. Yeah. This is where Lori gets in trouble because she never... I haven't really cleaned up for my last... There's one. That's really big. I don't want to put glass on there. Wait a minute. That'll be a good one. All right, so let's get something shiny and sparkly on here. See, now this is the shank. So now my thread is out, coming out the bottom, so I want to come back up. Now I want to tuck my thread up under this button. I, I, like I said, this is just me. You, I'm sure a lot of you girls would have plenty of ideas on how to do this and probably a lot better. Let's see. Now, how did my mouse, I don't even know where my mouse is. Oh, it's just run amok here. I want to make sure I see chat. It's awful, ain't it? Tina, another idea on my to-do <laughs> list. <laughs> so you want to just, once you get this, you want to kind of tuck that. Um, See, because I like them overlapping. I mean, you could line, if you like them this way, and you want them all lined up in a row, hey, do that. I like them going every which way and hanging over. You just want to be careful not to knot your, knot your um, thread, because that's really a pain in the, Pain in the tush. And then you want to make sure you get in the. I don't know where. Oh, this one had a piece of black thread still in the. Oh, I didn't notice that. Let's, let's get rid of that. Yes, please. Yeah, the turquoise one has some cute buttons on it. And you can mix, you know, 
the glass and I do not want to take this button off. And I didn't bring my little I didn't bring my little skither out here. So then you just want to make sure you come up and you're going through the shank so you're fastening it. And then you could just go as many times as you want. And then tighten that up and get it where you know in the spot where you where you'd like to have it. So you can see, you know, it takes a little while. Once you get the first one done, they go a little quicker. And then I was I would try to plan where my next button would go so I didn't have see like I wouldn't bring this thread all the way on the other side of this button. I'm going to work down this way. So I want to bring my thread up next to this button I just put on. Yeah, so say you were doing um, all white. Hey, Carol. Good morning. Thanks for joining in. Oh, I love buttons too. You could use a thread of, you know, color. Like say you just wanted a little hint of pink or purple or whatever, you know, for the buttons that have the holes in them, then your threads, you know, of course, go on a show. Now, let's see. Do I want a silver next to that one? No, I don't like the way that looks. That's got a little bling on it. I think I'm going to stay away from the green. I might want something a little smaller. To kind of, oh, I have a lot of those. I feel like I have a really not not so good shine. Maybe I need a silver. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. No, I think that's too pretty. Now I need something plain. Let's do this little square shell. Different shapes, different sizes. Now the thing of it is, is if you've got um some popping on here that you're popping them on and you don't like what you did just knot it you know don't take them all off just knot where you are secure what you have on there look see what I did that was silly I didn't go through the right hole Okay, Tina. So now this is fiddly. What am I going to do? Because I don't think I can back that out. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to just see if I can pull that stitch back through so I'm busy talking now I'm going to have to knot it well this is a perfect example of what I was just talking about and I didn't even plan that isn't that just Marvy, I got two buttons on and I already messed it up. The problem is, is I want to have enough thread to make a knot. <clears throat> so let's see if I can. This is what not to do when you're sewing on buttons. I want to give myself enough. Uh -oh. 
not even a device. <laughs> Look. Oh, dear. Renot. Never fails, does it, Marty? Oh, my gosh. Oh, that one's on there. Good. So. I'm going to come back in and go through that shank button again. I still have to get in there and pull out the rest of that black thread. And uh, you could twist your thread around the shank. And you could really leave, um, I think the gal who does the video, she at one point says she likes hers to make noise and clack. So if you tie your buttons down a little tighter, you know, and they don't move, you're not going to get that noise, which is, is how you might like it. But if you want them to clack and make noise like a bangle, then leave some of your buttons um, stitched on a little looser i'm going to do the same dang thing again instead of putting that through that i almost did it again girls wouldn't that have been a hoot a hoot and a half that's what you call a hoot and a half all right see now i'm just tucking that under that button there and then make sure you grab your elastic. And I think they even have wider elastic. All right, so then I'm gonna come up here because I wanna have my next button there. And then let's see. I think I want something plain. I love this. This almost looks like, um, oh, Marty, I don't know. This is like a purpley blue. And this is, Jackie, are you still here? We were trying to decide what what this was it's gray but see they all have girl names so i, I can't keep I, i'm gonna stop taking them out of the boxes i i took mine out of the boxes thinking that would be better this almost feels like a porcelain um knob like a doorknob i'm gonna put this one on oh if i can get my needle through this looks like it's got some this has some grunge in it in this button i'm going to see if i can clean it out so i can use it i don't wash my buttons somebody said i don't know who sh whether it was my live or somebody else's live they said they clean all their buttons. I don't. I like some of the grunge. I like the grunge. Look, must have been in dirt. It's like a little pile of dirt. <laughs> eh. I don't know. I guess Jackie's not still here. I forget what she thought this gray set of nails were. All right, so make sure you don't keep doing what I'm doing. When you have the two holes or the four holes, make sure you put your thread through and then come back. Button patina. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's an idea, Marty. I put the I put all my nails in one of those um, boxes with all the dividers, you know, like you would put 
buttons in or like your uh, embroidery threads. Thinking that would be like a great idea. Everything's right there together, which it's not bad, but when you want to know the color, especially if you want to reorder, they just, well, I'm not going to say anything because I don't know if everybody can get it. My buttons are only washed when they are on clothing and hanging. <laughs> there you go, Pam. Okay, so you want to be aware, too, of the length of your thread once you get going because you want to make sure you have enough thread to put on your next button. So I'm going to sneak my needle up in there. Now that one looks cute there, right? So this one's a shank. Now this will say, this is why I want to, ah, good. I wanted the smaller eye because some of these, see this is not, I don't know, what do you call this kind of a button you sew in ladies? It's not a, it's not, hey Ange, it's not a uh, shank, right? Because it doesn't have a little loopy thing. It's kind of flush. And that's a little trickier to get back in and get through. It's Devin. It's an in any. <laughs> Marty calls them strange. They are, but they're really they're they're really cool. They're like slick. They're slick. I'm liking the white, huh? All right. So, and you could knot it here, but remember, this is going to be on your wrist. So I'm going to bring this up again. And just grab a little bit of my elastic and then I'm going to create a knot. Yeah, I guess. Or I could ask Miss Caroline when I talk to her. I'm sure she knows. All right, so then you want to trim that off. I can't really get in there with these big honking scissors. Carol said, so I was watching some sales recently and buttons are going for some crazy, really? I'm making a bracelet like this, Ange, with buttons. All right, you you guys that are here hanging out with me, if you want me to go on to something else, I have other things I can, you know, do. I can pick all this up if you think this is a little too... Uh, monotonous. Because, I mean, really, once you start, yeah, I got little scissors out by my, I guess for little scissors for Christmas, my daughter and her family got me a pair I wanted, and they're fabulous. But I usually do my slow stitching and stuff out there. Oh, you weren't here at the beginning, Carol? Yeah. Let me show you. I've got a couple. I've got this one. And this one. Okay, already dark. And this one. All right, so I'm re rethreading. A black and white bracelet would be pretty too, right? I mean, really, any combo. Especially if you have in your stash of buttons 
that um <laughs> Marty, this is true. Um that you really like, you know, and instead of them just sitting in a drawer, you could be wearing them. All right, let's see if we can get this silver one on. I like this silver one. It's very pretty. It's got a little, I can't even see it that well. It looks like a little uh, viney kind of a look. So now I went down from the top because I don't want my knot to be rubbing against my arm. And then I was thinking about, you know, you could line this. But then it wouldn't stretch, right? So I don't know if anybody has an idea about that. Thank you, Carol. So now this one's a shank. So I'm going to go back under there because I want to try to nestle this a little bit. And I'm trying to keep my thread from knotting, which... I don't know, I've got, I think I've got it hooked on, hooked on phonics. Got it hooked right there. Oh, that might be from my other. That might be from my other. I'll look at there. See, I should have my other glasses on and I don't. So I can see the, I'm going to have to tack that in. I So I can see the screen. Hey, Beth. Good morning, good morning. There you go. Okay, now let's get this guy. Try to just go through the button a couple of times. I should have put in a pair of uh, contact lenses so I could see the screen and then use my my readers to see what I'm sewing. A cameo would be pretty, Ange. I don't think I have a cameo button. Let's see. I don't want any of that color. I think I'm going to keep it all white. I'm liking the white. Look how pretty this little guy is. That's got the metal. So now I'm sneaking up underneath here close to the other ones. Put my button on. <clears throat> Whoa, <laughs> I grabbed those other ones. No, you're not getting on there yet. Hey, Judy, how have you been? Nice to see you. Now you want to kind of, you know, put it where you want it. And um, for me, you don't, know, for my taste, I don't really want to see the elastic from the top, right? So, okay, let's see. There we go. Good spot. Okay, now let's get something a little larger. That guy's quite yellowed. Yeah, this guy looks pretty cool. 
See, and he takes up a whole another spot. So I'm going to come back up. Oh, you had a birthday? Happy birthday. When was your birthday, Judy? I'm going to tuck that guy right in there. See when her birthday was. It was January 26th. Oh, very nice. Judy, was that Holly's birthday too? I think that was Holly's birthday. Weren't you and Holly's birthday buddies? Okay. That one's real. That one went on very nice. Yes, that's what I thought. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a great birthday. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. These are silver and have a little bit of bling. I'm kind of trying to go um, I think I want to get out my other thing of buttons. Shall I get out another? This is my drawer. It's really full. Let's see. I might have some different. Those that I pulled out are all kind of the same. Oh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do it, girls. I think I might have some different. Yeah, see, like that's a little flower. That's kind of too yellow. Because you want different dimensions. Like, see this one. I don't know if that'll work because it's more creamy. I don't know if you can tell, but that looks like it's stitched and puffy. Look at that one. See, that will look cool on there. So let's do that. I'm looking for some maybe not so small and then some smaller ones. Just to give us a little more variety. Let's try to stay as white as I can to blend with the other ones. That one's a big one. That one's a big one. And then you can repeat, too. They don't have to all be. See, I have a couple of these. Let's get a couple more of these out. These are, what do they call them? Mother of Pearl. My friend Ed at the co-op, he had a whole bunch of buttons one day at, at work. I sat and went through them. And then he let me take a bunch of them. I got those other pearl ones from Ed. See, this is what I was doing to the button bracelet. I don't know where I put it. I was putting through the hole of the one button a wire and then twisting them. You can see I didn't use silver. It's getting, getting real stiff. Oh, that would look cute on a, on a bracelet, huh? I might put these in my other tub. These big ones. Oh, 
<laughs> that's cute, Pam. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a couple of different. Oh, look, that's a cool looking one. Let me get a couple of different looking. I thought I would see more bling ones in here. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like a fish stash somewhere special. Oh, I love that green button. Look at that green button. I love that. I love green. See, there's some of them that I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. That's a good silver. See, I could do this for hours. I won't, but yeah, that's see, this is what I'm looking for. A little tiny, little tiny one. That yeah, because sometimes you need smaller ones to fill in. See, this is missing. It just should have a little gem in it. All right, I can come back to this if I feel like I need to grab a couple more. And then if you have like little pearls, you could put little pearls in. Oh, that one's cute. This one's got kind of a crisscross hatched hashtag looking type of top. Okay, now I need to find a place to stick this drawer of buttons. Let's just put it. Because I don't want to be picking all them up. Well, let's face it. I wouldn't pick them up. Ron would help me. Because he's a very nice man. Let's get rid of this here. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we get here? Let's get a little. This one's all flowers. Silver flowers. That might look cute. There. Okay, so we're back on board here. And you both had boys. Not only did he have it when he was 22, you both had boys. That's kind of cool, too. Uh-oh. I'm paying attention. I think I did it again. Oh, I started on the wrong end. Good grief. I was working on this end. He's nice until I was right, Kimberly. <laughs> See, I didn't say it on this morning. You going anywhere today? Don't you have any errands to run? Look, I'm going to try this. <sighs> Marty, this is one for the books. I'm going to re-thread. This is the plan. I'm going to re-thread. See, I do much better when I'm not talking. This is not easy, people. This is not easy. Wow. All right, so I'm going to knot this. How cool. So this will be, do you have... um? Other grands, Pam, or are these your first two? Is Gail back? Hey, there's Gail. Hi, Gail. How'd the primping go? All right, let's trim this off. Gail, you missed my mistakes. Hopefully, I won't make any more. <laughs> Sure. More thread. Your first. Oh, how fun. What did they name the baby? She's all gussied up. Nice. OK, 
Okay. Okay. Thread the needle. Now I want to make a stand. Oh. That's cute. That's kind of a retro name to me. How cute. My sister Jackie is expecting her third grandchild in March, March 7th, actually. And we don't know what it is yet. We're going to be surprised. It is Judy. Oh, I'm glad because I feel like I'm really messing it up. All right, so I'm going to bring my needle back under here. Stan the man. There you go. All right, so I did that not there. That's all right. We're going to let it go. You know what? I'm going to redo. Marty, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Oh, the day is still young. <laughs> I do want my nuts on the top. Knots on the top. Knots on the top. So I'm going to sneak it down, come back up here. Now, now I forget what button I was going to use. Oh, let's get this little. Let's get this little, um, I don't know what you would call this. Just stick it on there. It's kind of like a pressed, it's like it's got pressed glitter. Oh, this one's still got a little piece of metal attached to it, you know, from where it was on the little, on the little card. On the little card. Look, my tweezers are, my pinchers are magnetized. Oh, good grief. I can't grab a hold of it because when it's magnetized, it keeps, <laughs> it keeps jumping away. <laughs> All right, if you are um, watching this live in a replay, I suggest now you go right to the end. I'm going to have to get my cutters. I'm going to have to get my cutters. You never know what you're going to encounter. Now, where do you see? I'll cut the shank off and then I'll really be crying. That, that was work. It's going to look so beautiful when it's done. All this will just be a faint memory. My nanny used to like to have her hair played with. I think I've told this before. And of course, I always wanted to be a hairdresser. So she used to let me play with her hair. And then we had the Dippity Doo episode. She loved it. We, she would let us sit and comb it. And my daughter has a video of her daughter. I guess Charlotte was, gosh, maybe two, three. 
She's standing. My my daughter was sitting on the floor, leaning up against the couch, and Charlotte's standing on the couch behind her with a brush, and she's going to give her mom a pony ponytail. Oh, gosh, it's such a great little. You remember Dippity Doo? Oh my gosh. All right, so now let's go next to this one. Let's see what a little, little gem looks good next to it. That's a little too yellowy. I don't want that. Got tons of those. That's pink. Hmm. This one looks like a little pearl. That might be a little too small. Where's that silver ball? Let's try this one. Hmm. I'm thinking I probably could put another little button in there. I'm not going to go back. I'm missing that notice. So 3% cut our car fee if that is what we use. Yeah, I think a lot of um, small individual places have you absorb that credit card fee. In our little gift shop, we um, we took care of that. We paid for that with our supplies to buy bags for the customers. And then, of course, then Jersey changed and you're not allowed, not allowed to do the bag thing. See, now I like this one better than this ridgy one. Right, yeah, that's what you have to do. Let's put this one on here. So this is a case where, hi, Melissa, good morning. You know, size does matter, at least to me, because I, I like to go, look, now I got it stuck in my ring, the different sizes kind of break up the monotony and uh, give your eye a little variety to look at my son doesn't have any credit cards either which is which is good because then he doesn't get himself in trouble but some places you know that's what they want they don't want anything Exactly, Cindy. Exactly. Cindy, I might have you talk to my sister Jackie too. She's got she's got a few ideas. Okay, this little silver ball I'm gonna put in here. This is a little heavy. This button's heavy. Right, exactly, Gail. You know, you just you never know. I got that one. That one's a little twisted. Yeah, you have to talk to Keisha. She'll she'll explain everything. She's a wonderful source. She walks you through it, and uh, but if you're interested, let her know because she often has her waiting list. Cindy, um, if you would private message me, 
we could chat a little bit maybe either instagram on paint girly there okay marty and um i probably if you have instagram can you a uh, private message me there okay cool All right, so he's kind of leaning to the right, said a leaning to the left, so I can probably judge him a little bit. So let's see, let's see what we want to judge him with. Keep picking up those stinking little. I think that's going to hang off a little too much. I don't think I have enough bling things. My problem. Look at that fish. How cute is that? Mm. Silver and gold. I think I'm going to do silver. Silver and gold. Lori, I don't have your Facebook Messenger or your email. My email is just pinkgirly at gmail.com. And... Facebook is Lori Uncle Delp, which uh, I don't know if you can remember. <laughs> I don't know if Lori Delp will come up. I've run into a couple other Lori Delps over the years. So maybe the email might be better if you don't have the Instagram. Now, these little buttons don't always cooperate. How am I on time? Okay. Let's see. Kathy Arbor comes on at 1. 1 Eastern. I want this guy to maybe lay down a little bit more. So then I just have to... Maybe twist them. Twisted sister. This one I want to get down pretty tight. Got to remember which side of the fabric I'm on, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's come back up through. And let's see. So far, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Where's that one that was like, yeah, here it is. I think he's cool. Let's we put him here. He's got four holes. So I put my thread right under there. So I'm going to move my thread down a little bit. I'm just going to stitch up and down a little bit here. Kathy said, I have my die cut paper. Hey, how's that for reading? A typo die cut paper all ready to do today but now i want to make a bracelet hmm, decisions decisions i have an idea let's do both actually it was funny um i said to kathy i was thinking you know what i wanted to do on my next live and i thought oh, i could use some uh paper clip flag thingies, you know, or design paper clip things. And then I saw Brick, Brooke um, uploaded a couple. Look, my thread's getting short. So I thought, oh, well, I might need to give that a little bit of a break. And then last night I was thinking, well, maybe I could do something with die cuts and then Kathy and I were in the same stream and she mentioned die cuts 
And then there was one other thing. It's just amazing to me how there's so many of us in our community. We get like the same ideas without even really communicating with one another. You know what I'm saying? It's like so cool. Run towards the buttons real fast. <laughs> All right, I want to get another stitch in here, and then I'm going to have to finish this one off. I want to knot her, knot her up. In fact, I think I'm just going to scoot not through. See, sometimes they say wind it around your button like that, and that helps add, I guess, stability. I don't know. It's just a few things I've picked up over the years, over quite a few years. Can't believe how stinking old I am. Sometimes you need a little help. Hey, there's Riri. Okay, gonna tie me a knot. And then clip. And then let's just see how it looks so far. This one's gonna be real bangly. It's cute though, right? It's cute. Right, that's what we were saying, Beth. I think before you were here, and you could, um, Beth, that's what I was wondering if you covered this with fabric or put some felt on it, would it still stretch? That's what I didn't know, you know, haven't tried that. And then I was thinking, you know, what if you put a little bit of lace underneath? Like, you know, not on this one. But see, and this, not this particular lace, but how would it look if you had a little bit of lace underneath? I might have to try one like that. I'm kind of liking that idea. But you could take a piece of lace that works. See, I don't have anything right here that I think is going to work to show you. But you know what I mean. Who know what I mean? What? Like, say you had a piece of narrow. Yeah, Kathy. Shabby chic. And you could stitch that down first. You know, if you had, say, if you were doing the size or, you know, the, the, um, the inch width. And you had the lace and then you just stitch it down. And then as you put your, you wouldn't have to put your buttons so close together. And then you'd have that nice underneath. I don't know. Might be gross. <laughs> I don't know. Might, might be gross. I don't know. I don't know. If it be gross, see. See, now I got myself I'm at the other end again. Doesn't really matter once I start. We'll keep the door closed. I do like that big button. Here's another big one. That might look okay there. Really liking this one. The wheels are turning now, says Beth. I don't know. You some of you fabric girls might know that. I would think you could dye it. I would think you could dip this in um, a down acrylic paint. We could use some of your sprays. I don't know all what colors. Now they the gal recommended a non-curling elastic, but she said use whatever you had in your stash. So 
you know, you might have, it's not like you're going to launder this, you know what I'm saying? Like for it to curl. So I don't know if you're wearing it and it's a summer day and you're sweating, you know, how that might, I don't know. Okay, girlfriend. And <laughs> you can do, you know, who knows once you get going. You might get all kinds of ideas. See, I was thinking charms, too. Who said they had it? Oh, we were watching. Um, Well, she probably. I don't think she would wear one of these. I don't really know her well. Susan Taylor Brown. She was saying she had a lot of charms. What about if you threw a couple little charms in there? Especially, you know, like, see, I've got a little spot there. This little pearl might look cute in there. So I don't know. I just, you know, I just made the few that I made and I really like them. I like making them. Oh, I like him there. All right, not on top, not on top. That's what I have to keep saying to remind myself while I'm stitching and talking, stitching and talking. Charm it, says Ray. I don't know. What is? What do I have in the way of charms? Oh, I think I have some that are... Oh, hold on. You just gave me another idea. Ray, Ray gave me an idea. Okay, beads, yup, beads would be fun for sure. Um, see, like some of them, some of the beads I have are enamel. Of course, most of those backs are gold. Here's a little try. I don't have a jump ring on this one, though. I guess you would need a jump ring, right? What if you did it? What if I put this? What if I put a button on and then sew this on top of the... <gasps> Wait. Wait. This one's gold. Look how cute that's a little bow. All right, just hold hold that thought. This is Christmas. I don't want Christmas. I'm getting hungry, girls. There's a little butterfly. Okay, let's try this. Oh. This is when what's his name? Gru would say light bulb. <laughs> Okay, so I had that one little button, this one. So what if I put this here? Hold my button. Well, if you want it to wiggle, I think if you want the charm to wiggle, using a jump ring would be a good idea. But if you don't, that's good. And that's what I was thinking initially. But now I'm thinking. Putting it right on top of the button. And stitching that baby down. Uh, don't you not on me. Don't not. Do not snap on me. Come on, you little. You little dragonfly. 
see, I got too, I got overly excited. Okay. I just want to make sure this isn't going to not. The other side of my. I feel like I'm flying a kite. Let's go fly a kite. Up, no, nope, I want you this way. Too I can't pull it too hard because he'll he'll stand up. I want him to lay down. I'm not sure about embroidery thread. You know, you'd have to take some of the layers away, and ideally, you know, some kind of um. Like, I think like a buttonhole thread, you know, might be a good idea. But this thread felt a little stronger than some of my others. And of course, I didn't have much choice in white. But you could try it. I'm just... Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. Now you could think of me all day. All right, this little guy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we thought of this. That is a this is a great addition, I have to say. That's a great addition. Can you see? I feel like I'm really having a lot of glare today. Huh? Oh my gosh, love that. Love it, love it. Okay. Let's. I don't know if it's silver. No. Silver and gold. Here's a clear. Me. <laughs> Where's that? Um, yeah, let's see this little little uh, hashtaggy one. I kind of like that. All right, so let's come up here. This was a cool find. This button it was a cool find. It was a fluffy winter jacket. The stripes out zigzag or stripes or zigzag. Oh, Re, thank you, Re, Re. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Get that twisted around, twisted around, twisted. I want him under the little. Oh, thank you, Ray. You're very sweet, very kind hearted. Thank you. Okay. Get this guy attached down very nicely. Very snuggly. Now, as you're going along, remember, as you are really building it, um, your thread can, you know, get caught around those other buttons. Oh, I'm thinking I want another bling. Gosh, I wish I could remember where I have my bling. Now, see, this is a darker silver. See how dark it's black underneath. I think that might be a boy. This is really a pretty button, but I think it might be a little too dark. That one's got a little scrunch on it, which I kind of like. 
I like me some scrunch. See, now this has a little bit of texture on this one, too. What did Kimberly say? I missed it. Oh, neat idea, Kimberly. Kimberly, can you put in what you said again? Thank you, because I missed it. Just got that one there. I don't really want that. Oh, look at this one. Excellent idea. I missed it. I missed it. This is got black around the edge, but look how cool that button is. That's plastic. See, it takes me a while to decide. I don't want to miss it again. I think I'm going to make a flat one like a bookmark for my fat. <gasps> Oh, Kimberly, yeah, that is a great idea. Or you could do it on, do it if you wanted to decorate your spine. See, this is the one, this is the book I'm working on now. Remember, I did my um, favorite things. How would this, something like this, look down the spine? You know, this has too much jazz on it, but, oh, Kimberly. Light bulb. Get myself all twisted. Okay, what button did I say I was going to put here? Oh, that puffy one. Here it is. Got the puff. <laughs> it's going to be a button weekend. All right, so I've been talking about for a while opening up a room like Ann does on Thursdays. She opens the room on Thursdays, but by the time I'm done streaming, I have to um, eat something and then I need to sometimes take a nap and I have to call my neighbor and, all. you know, there's just, I can't always, I can't always get to Kathy Arbor and then, um, <laughs> no, but, no, that's fine. Thank you, Devin. I'm sure they're cute. I bet you I could find some. <laughs> um, so C Kathy, Calico Kate and I were talking and saying, you know, maybe opening a room maybe later in the evening. I know that wouldn't suit everyone. Um, but I don't, I don't know that I want to be tied down to, you did, Pam? You got some yesterday? Really, Devin? It's open all day? Oh, I didn't realize that. A headband, right, Riri? Janet Nash will love this. Yeah, I think she will. Um... So if I decide to open like one night I've had one day I've had a nap. Yeah, you don't know about the evening. Well, see, some of some of us are night owls. And uh, like I said, it wouldn't be for everybody all the time. But even if you switched it up. But just to have another another opportunity to open a room. See this. See, I, I smashed this here in my little dragonflies kind of. There he goes. He looks better that way. It's just an idea, but I might post something, say, like on Mary's, on Mary's, um, you've never seen the movie. Oh my gosh, Riri, it's such a cute movie. And I love that little girl. I'm talking about the original. I guess I saw the second one too, but I don't remember that one so much. I just love that little girl. And uh, anyway. It's a cute movie. All right. I think I need some silver. Let's add 
Hmm. Wow, this one's this one's got uh, Hmm. I wonder how this would be. Oh, okay, Dawn. Welcome back. Dawn, look what we did. Did you see, see what we did? We put a, a charm on top of that button. A little um, dragonfly. Kimberly's going to do a bookmark for a fabric journal. So we thought that was a great idea. All right, uh, silver. I was trying to find a silver. I think the only one I got out was, let's see. Might have another silver in here that I could. Oh, look at this one. That's silver. Oh, this is got this is a shank, but it's kind of set down in there. It's a little Oh, that's nice. Let's see this little guy. It might be too dark. All right, so there's a few more options. Which end is my thread? Which end is my thread? I like that, but I'm not sure about the shape. Try this one. I'm going to go over to the left side. Put this one on. So I don't know how the hashtag things work. Yeah, I was surpri I'm surprised. I wasn't sure I would like it, Dawn, but I like it too. Um, if anybody makes one, let me know where you're going to post it. Beth says use the oval one. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I'll put it on the other end. Ah. See, this is what not to do. Be careful, especially when you have buttons that have those rougher. Now I lost my needle. Dawn, every time I see your name, you know, I've got that song in my head. Hey, there's Dana. Hi, Dana. Yes, Beth is live on Thursday evenings. And Kathy Arbor is generally on this afternoon. Thank you, Kimberly. I've got to separate this thread. I see a little spot where I didn't pull it. Dawn said, I had a necklace years ago from a lady my mom worked for that made of buttons and beat. Really? That sounds interesting, huh? Cool. Thanks, Kimberly. I still don't see where I pulled that thread correctly. It's got to be. See, this is the kind of stuff that drives me crazy. Maybe it's not from this one. Well, certainly it is. Must have had it twisted. Hey, there's Nettie. Hi, Nettie. All right, I'm going to come back up through this one again. 
Oh, Dana has a cold. Come over here. I'm going to put this one on. And she came into chat. Oh, you stinker. See my button, my um, needle won't go through that one. Oh, stinker, stinker. Let's try this little flower. You can nestle that little guy up. Let's see, I want to get my thread in the right spot there. Steffi, hi, Steffi. Kimberly, can you find Steffi's link and put hers in? And did we get Beth in? Yeah, we got Beth. We got Kathy Arbor, Devin. Yeah, and anybody you can put in be great. Okay. Let me get this on. Ah. We keep doing it. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. That one, I don't think I grabbed the, the elastic. Nope, not right past it. I'm going to make sure you grab the elastic. All right, let's see if we can get this oval one on. Beth said to use the oval. I kind of like it that way. Let's see if we can sneak her in. And get it going the right way. <clears throat> see once you once you get it positioned and then you get your thread tied in there real tight, give it a real tight pull. They pretty much stay where you put them. You got to get it in that sweet spot. Hubby's making some lunch. Smells good. I think I'm going to do a sandwich today, though. I love my sandwiches. This guy's different. He's kind of hard to kind of hard to see in there. Okay, Devin. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. You have a great day. Dawn said she baked a chicken yesterday, so she's going to do chicken salad. Wonderful. We had um, for our daughter when our daughter was getting married for her bridal shower. We had chicken. We served chicken salad, and I put. Um, a solo recipe and it sounded good to me and i had tried it before you put um grapes and walnuts in the chicken salad well my bonus son was living with us then and he just he just could not fathom that you know and this kid likes to eat i said you have to try it you know, before it's not going to kill you if you just try it. I said, after the shower, we have plenty. There'll be some left over. You know, you can try it then. Well, he tried it. And I don't think the rest of us got any after that. <laughs> he just sucked. I can't believe how good that is.
All right. So I've only got a little bit left to go. Let's see. I don't know if I can get it finished. Let's try. Let's see how that little butterfly looks there, shall we? All right. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come up here, put on my butterfly. Now, I didn't really map these out. You probably could map these out a little better than I did, for sure. All right, I'm going to tie this, knot this off really. Oh, that sounds wonderful, too. Well, I love nuts, so that all sounds really good to me. I didn't know it had a name. It's probably, I probably just had walnuts instead of pecans. All right, we're coming down the home stretch. I don't know if we use a couple of big, big buttons. I don't know. I just don't know about the charms. I think I could probably attach them a little better. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, some of them are too small for me. Some of them are gonna some of them are gonna find their way into the Etsy shop if they ever get in the rear and gear and get that open. But I don't know about it. Is Ange going to go take a nap? You like nuts too, Gil? Oh my gosh, I could live on them. Yeah, well, our my husband and I are fortunate with the health care we chose this last year. We were able to do some dental work, so it's a little better for us. But boy, I hear you. Oh my gosh, our teeth are terrible. And you can only do what you can do, hon. Don't make yourself sick. All right. I know, I know. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy on. I like this guy. So I don't want him to push that. But yeah, not good in your state. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my goodness, that's not good either. Okay, let's see. 
And we're going to finish up here. We just got a couple little spaces. I was going to try to get that little pearl in somewhere too. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks good there. Let's put this one in. Now, don't forget, make your elastic the size you want, whether you want your bracelet loose or tight fitting. You know, just size it to your arm, to your wrist. And it is, a, it's, it's fiddly picking out your buttons to use, but if you have an idea, welcome back, Marty. If you have an idea of what you're looking for as far as colors and stuff, it's easier if you put a small group out. And then if you need to find something additional, you know, just go look for that specific. At least that's what I found. Instead of looking at all of your buttons, you know, especially if you have a lot and trying to decide, it's a little harder deciding what to put on. All right. And I think I'm going to put this little guy right in there. Now you can always come back and add, you know, This one's right on the edge. I probably could use another one in there, but we're going to we're going to stop at this one. Let's get this one on. Okay, I think I'm going to leave my thread because I think I might, well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just see. No, I guess I don't need another one in there. I have to figure out something with this little dragonfly. He kind of keeps standing up. But there we have it, huh? Not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and knot this off. All right, so make sure you check out the video. I put the link in my description box of the gal that inspired me to do my bracelets. Yeah, this one's a little more jingly than my other ones. And uh, let me know if you make one. I would love to know. And again, you can make them any size, depending on what size uh, elastic you choose to use. That one fits me. This one fits me. These are smaller. So there you have it. So that's our project for today. I will see you all again, hopefully on Sunday morning, if you're around at 11 Eastern. And oh, there's Sharon Lombard. Hi, Sharon. Just getting ready to cut out of here. Nice to see you. Riri, thank you for your your super chat. I appreciate that so much. Don't forget, we've got um, Kathy Arbor coming up. Oh, Kathy, that'd be great. She'll love it. And um, we've got Beth later this evening. And uh, it's too early in the month for it to be uh, APD Jamie. I don't want to forget her. She's a third Thursday of the month. And 
I think that's it. All right, Cindy. And Cindy, don't forget to email me. All right. Um, Beth said, Lori, read my message above. Let's just take a quick peek. I often have a hard time finding. The messages when there, I have to go back. I don't know why. Was it back far, Beth? There she is. Dawn, I've been on a low carb with sugar diet. Is it the diet one? Absolutely drank a regular. Uh. No, that's it. Wow, well, I can do is drink a lot of water and sleep it off. Maybe you could put it in again for me quickly. Because I'm not seeing, I'm seeing, there's Teresa. Hi, Teresa. I don't see it, Beth, unless it was about, you know, you're not feeling well. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. Oh, sorry, Beth. I don't know. Okay. Cindy said she sent me a message. Okay, great. Yeah, it is a wonderful group of ladies. Good to see you again, Kath. Sorry, Beth. I'm going to skedaddle. I can look. There she, I said I would not get mad if you ever stream. Oh, uh, <laughs> I know. I know, Beth. You're very, you're very sweet and kind hearted that way. But, you know, sometimes I just like to tune in too and not miss. I hate to miss stuff. All right. Well, it's all good. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you so very much. Have a great rest of your day and I uh, hope to see you soon. And don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. See you next time. Bye-bye.